Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a very pretty and simple design getting started into the Valentine season. If you are not a fan of love nails, I'm so, so sorry. Drop a comment down below and give me suggestions that are anti-Valentine Day nails and I will definitely try to create some for you guys. But for today's video, we're gonna keep it classic with the pink acrylic. This one is absolutely stunning. It is from Not Polish. The color is called Dare You and I feel like the pink is so pretty and such a perfect shade. And then not only that, but it does have an amazing, really sparkly effect to it, which I absolutely feel like it just goes so well with the design we're gonna be creating for today's video. For the acrylic application, we are using the Not Polish Acrylic Monomer. And along with that, we're using their acrylic brush in a size 12. That is my favorite sized brush. So we're gonna go ahead and use that for today's video. But I'm just very quickly going to be adding a thin layer of that as our base, and then we're gonna be encapsulating some really pretty glitters on there. Now it is important that whenever you start applying your little metal nail art or your chunky glitters, you wanna make sure that you do it quickly so that the acrylic is still nice and wet. And whenever you go and press it on there, it sinks into that wet acrylic and it adheres better. It lays flatter and whenever you go in and encapsulate, there is not any little edges or sides that are sticking out on the sides. I will say this one, I completely forgot that I was gonna be encapsulating some nail art. So it does stick out a little bit, but I still made sure that I pressed it in as firmly as I could. And then I'm gonna show you guys at the end how I fix it so that these sides do not stick out. But we're gonna be dealing with the rest of the nails in the right way and encapsulating them properly so I don't have to fix them at the end. So now I'm just adding these really pretty rose gold glitters. These are from Profiles Backstage. They are absolutely beautiful. I love the color of them, so I felt like this was the right way to go when it came to this set of nails. Now for this nail, I decided to start in the middle section, kind of blend that acrylic down towards the tip, but we're gonna be leaving that tip nice and clean, free of product, until we are ready to apply the nail art. So I'm just starting off by applying that, tucking in the sides, making sure that my shape doesn't get too messed up, blending it down towards the tip, and then we're gonna be working our way up towards the cuticle area, and then dealing with the tip afterwards. So again, a medium-sized bead of acrylic right above the one we just laid, blending it downwards very quickly. Again, I'm making these very thin because we are going to be encapsulating, and I don't want the nail to become super bulky when we add the nail art. The next bead goes up in the cuticle area, holding the finger in a downward position. We're gonna quickly work the product down towards the existing acrylic, and I'm using the belly of my brush to really flatten that out and make it nice and thin, tucking in the sides consistently to make sure that the shape doesn't get messed up. And then we're going at the tip. So I'm taking about a medium-sized bead of acrylic, and I'm gonna be applying that where there is no acrylic, blending it downwards towards the tip, and it is extremely thin right now. So I'm gonna be taking our little metal heart. These are from McCart. They have an amazing selection of nail art, so make sure you guys check them out as well and use my discount code. Now the little rose gold chunky hearts are from Profiles, like I mentioned earlier, and we're just gonna go ahead and layer those on there. I'm kind of just eyeballing it and placing them where I feel it looks cute. You can apply it all over the nail if you want, just in the middle section, down one side, down the other side, down straight in the middle, but I'm kind of focusing more on the tip area and leaving the natural nail area without any glitter. Now again, we're taking a medium-sized bead of acrylic, placing that in the middle section. We're gonna be leaving the tip kind of blank until we are ready to apply that nail art, like I mentioned earlier. Blending it downwards very quickly, always tucking in the sides to make sure that the shape stays as perfect as possible. Now 
I'm gonna go ahead and apply the tip area acrylic since I feel like there's enough space between the cuticle area and the tip where if I go in with acrylic afterwards in the cuticle area, it's not going to cover my nail art. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place a small bead of that. Again, extremely thin. Now for this nail, I figured I would go ahead and pinch the sides of the metal heart. And the reason why I'm doing this is to give it a little bit more of a curve. They already come pre-curved, but I feel like it needed a little bit more so that it lays completely flat against that acrylic as the tips are a little bit on the C curved side. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that on there. And as you can see, it lays nice and flat. If I press it in a little bit into the acrylic, that's gonna help also with it kind of to sink in and lay even more flat on there. And then again, we're just adding those little rose gold hearts. And then we're gonna be finishing off our acrylic application near the cuticle area, blending it down very, very carefully extremely avoiding the tip so that we do not cover it with any acrylic. Now we're going back to that pinky nail. As I mentioned, I wanna make sure that I fix it so that it encapsulates very well. And all I'm doing is taking my thumbs and kind of pushing in on the sides. That's gonna help kind of create a C curve. It is already adhered in the center to the acrylic. So that's gonna help when it comes to the product kind of laying a lot more flat. And whenever I go in and press down on the sides, it's not gonna come off at all. So now I'm just quickly going to be encapsulating these nails. You wanna make sure you are focusing on that nail art portion because if you get any areas that are sticking out, whenever you go into file, more than likely you will file off some of that nail art and you do not wanna have a messed up heart. So make sure that you get it as flat as possible on that acrylic and then you encapsulate it nicely so that you avoid messing that up. 
I'm just going to go ahead and use the not polished clear acrylic for this process. And I'm just going to be focusing again on that tip part where the glitter and the hearts are. And then I'm just going to be adding a little bit up near the cuticle area. Once everything is nice and dry, we are taking the Kiara Sky rechargeable e-file. I have her at a speed of about 11,000 RPMs. Along with that, I'm using their 5-in-1 bit in the color rose gold. This one is medium grit, but because it is an old bit, I feel like it is more of a fine grit. So keep that in mind. I feel like fine grit is a lot better when it comes to finished filing. I'm going to be using light pressure when it comes to the filing because I do not want to remove bulk product. I just want to gently file that surface so that it is nice and smooth. I'm taking my go-to favorite nail files, the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick files, and I'm going in on the sides. I wanna make sure that that shape is nice and crisp. So I'm gonna be alternating from the left to the right, right to the left, making sure that I am nice and straight when it comes to this shape. Since they are a perfect square, we wanna make sure that we're keeping it nice and straight. And then we're gonna be flipping the hand around to look at the nails from the client's perspective and finish filing that tip to get the perfect squared nail shape.
once we're all done filing the nails, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Kiara Sky Lint Free Wipes and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe on that. Clean the surface of the nail and now we're going in with the Not Polish Gloss It. It's my favorite glossy top coat. You guys probably already know that I love matte top coat, but for today's video, we are actually using glossy. I feel like it would look better and it would just not make the glitter as beautiful if I would have put matte on there, so. We're going with shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the entire surface of the nail very carefully. And then we're gonna be curing that in the light for a full minute. I like to do two minutes just to be safe. And I definitely do recommend this top coat. It stays shiny the entire time that your client will have their nails on. And it doesn't come back with scratches or anything like that. So highly recommend it. But what are you guys' thoughts on this set of nails? Super, super simple, easy to achieve, but super pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a ton and I'll see you guys next time. Deep